Hey everyone, in today's lecture, we are going to dive into the fascinating world of block diagram and signal flow representation of discrete time system. Fine. So, to represent a discrete time system visually, we have two options. First one is block diagram representation and second one is what? Signal flow graph representation. Fine. So, the block diagram consists of basic elements such as adders, constant multipliers, unit delay elements and unit advance elements. These elements are used to construct the diagram and showcase the relationship between different signals. Okay. So, let's talk about the adder. First, let's talk about the adder. Fine. So, this handy tool which is basically called as adder allows us to add two or more signals together. The output of the adder is simply the sum of all the incoming discrete time signals. Fine. Now, let's see or let's take a look at the block diagram representation for the adder. Okay. So, basically, this is your adder component. This is your adder. So, the incoming discrete time signals are so x1 of n and x2 of n. So, these are what incoming signals. Okay. Or you can say an input to this adder. Now, what will be the output? The output is equal to what? Sum of all incoming discrete time signals. So, the output will be x1 of n plus x2 of n. Okay, so this is what a block diagram representation. Now, the equivalent signal flow graph representation. Okay, so this is equivalent signal flow graph representation. So, we have this node, this node and this two are joining at a single node here. So, here the input will be x1 of n, okay, input like this, that's why I am marking arrow here and now the another input x2 of n, okay, so you will get here the output which is basically x1 of n plus x2 of n. So, hope this both are clear to you because we are going to use these things later. Fine. So, you should aware about this adder, the block diagram representation as well as signal flow graph representation. Okay. Fine. So, next up is the constant multiplier. Constant multiplier. Fine. As the name suggests, this element multiplies signal by a constant value. The output of the multiplier is the product of the input discrete time signal and the constant. Okay. Now, let's explore the block diagram representation for the constant multiplier. So, here this is what a constant multiplier element. Okay. This A is what basically A is what here scaling factor, scaling factor, fine. So, input for this constant multiplier is x of n and scaling factor is A. So, what will be the output? So, what is the work of this constant multiplier? It is used to multiply the signal by a constant, right? constant a. So, you will get simply a into x of n as an output. Hope it is clear to you. Fine. Now, let us see the equivalent signal flow graph representation. Okay. So, let me remove this. Fine. So, equivalent signal flow graph representation. So, two nodes are there. So, this is input. Here you will get output. Okay. So, input is what? 
x of n now it should go through a constant multiplier so when you represent signal flow graph way then simply what you are doing you are multiplying by a so mark a arrow here and put a here so at the output this node you will get simply a into x of n this is how you can represent the constant multiplier used in signal flow graph representation simple fine now moving on we have the unit delay element we have unit delay element okay this element represents the delay of samples in a discrete time signal by one sampling unit it's a crucial component when analyzing systems okay let's take a look at the block diagram representation for unit delay element so this is how the block diagram representation of a unit delay element looks like so this is what a unit delay element so and input for this is what x of n suppose input is x of n now what this element will do so what is the theory the theory says a unit delay element is used to represent the delay of samples of a discrete time signal by one sampling unit so if it is delayed by one sampling unit it means the output y of n is, becomes what x of n minus 1 simple right x of n minus 1 clear fine and what is this z to the power minus 1 so z to the power minus 1 is nothing but it is called as unit delay unit delay operator okay unit delay operator you should remember this then you can draw a signal flow graph representation easily if you know these points fine now let's see the equivalent signal flow graph representation so what is the input x of n x of n and you want an output x of n minus 1 fine so it is basically you have to use here unit delay element so mark an arrow this way and here at top of this just write z to the power minus 1 so this will automatically delay sample of x of n by one sampling time or by sam one sampling unit time simple and you will get x of u minus x of n minus 1 hope it is clear to you fine now next is what lastly we have the unit advance element so this element advances the signal passing through it by one sampling unit time it's another important piece of the puzzle when it comes to the discrete time systems okay just opposite of the unit delay element think of in that angle fine so what is the work of this element is used to advance the signal passing through it by one sampling unit time so let's see the block diagram representation for the unit advance element so this is what the unit advance element unit input will be what x of n and unit this z is what z is basically unit unit advance operator unit advance operator so the output of this unit advance element is what now x of n plus 1 so input was what x of n output is x of n plus 1 so you can see here what happened here this signal this particular x of n you know this is what a discrete time signal and this is what advanced version of that right x of n plus 1 advanced by one sampling unit time that is the work of unit advance element hope it is clear to you now let's see the block block diagram cover let's see the signal flow graph representation nothing 
input is what x of n okay and z is what the unit advance operator so mark an arrow here put z here and the output will be become what x of n plus 1 so this is how the signal flow graph representation looks like in the case of unit advance element fine and that's all for the basic of block diagram and signal flow graph representation of discrete time system in our next lecture we will dive into an example to further solidify our understanding if you have any doubts please feel free to ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative contents thanks for watching